Hello, my name is Carl Surrey and this is a video tutorial for the Facebook group called Fans of Serif Software. Now, this is an Affinity Photo tutorial and it is an update of an old tutorial I did back in 2015, I think it was, which was for Serif's product called Photo Plus. Um, and even then, I think it was a written tutorial, not a video tutorial. Um, I have been looking for it on the file section of the Facebook group but it doesn't seem to have been there so it's probably been lost by Facebook or it may have happened when I changed the group format and some files may have got lost that way but if anybody does want the photo plus written version and the templates um, I'm sure if you email me I can get them to you um, and this tutorial is about making some templates with some levels already preset so it will make especially for beginners it easy to edit a file now I saw this originally on the cover of a photo magazine and they gave away some templates ready made but they were for Photoshop so I made my own for Photo Plus and now I'm making them again for Affinity Photo and this is the template um, file here and we have the background with text on it and then we've got some groups of different settings and filters um, and this tells you this this group is minus saturation, there's plus saturation, some lens filters to make something make the image darker, to make it lighter, to add a vignette, to do an ellipse cutout and do an invert adjustment. So what we need now is an image to put into this. Now I do know that cameras have different size images that they output to because I've got two cameras, one's a Canon D700 I think it is and it put outputs files that are 5184 by 3456 and my other camera is a Canon G8 and it outputs 3648 to 2736 which is a much smaller image um, but the templates I'm making at the moment are for my Canon 700D so this is the file I'm going to use at the moment so I'm just going to come to select select all edit copy come back to my template make sure that the background layer is highlighted and then when I paste it will paste it in between this and the adjustment layers above so edit paste and because I've set it up for the output size for my camera this will fit sort of perfectly if I pasted in this smaller image it wouldn't have mattered so much because I could still sort of centralize it in this area add in the adjustments and then later on crop it down to suit um, so let's have, have a quick look at some of these preset um, some of these presets that I've added in so I've added in a saturations at minus saturations at 40, 60, 80 and 100 in fact I should have added a minus in let me just rename this one quickly a minus sign in there and a minus sign in there so if I put a tick into one of these it will desaturate that by 40% or if I do this one it will desaturate it by 80% and this is obviously 100% so that's totally black and white I mean you could get 100% by doing 60 and 40 in fact it may 
still have a just a slight hint of colour even with those two supposedly it would seem like it'd be a hundred but it's not a hundred percent because this is sixty percent of what is would be left after doing the forty percent mass was not my strong point so I'm not gonna go into that so I'll close that group and the next group is the plus saturation and again I have got here 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 percent so if I just increase the saturation by 20 percent or increase the saturation by 80 percent and obviously you can add more than one going at the same time but I've turned all those off and next we're going to come up to lens filters now I've added made three lens filters here uh, no sorry four red yellow blue and orange so if I just click on that it will just add a hint of orange hint of blue hint of yellow and a hint of red so I've turned all those off now I will close that group now this next group is to make the image darker by 20%, 40% or 80% so that's 20%, that's 40%, again you could put more than one in fact you could put all three on, it doesn't matter which this next group is making things brighter by 20, 40 and 60% so again you could use all three or just two of them, or just one of them, or none of them. Uh, next group is a vignette. I've made two vignettes, one with a black border and one with a white border, the two with a bright border I should say. So that is a slightly light, darker, um, not so dark, and, and that one is a much darker vignette. Again, you could use both of them and make it a really dark vignette. And these next two are the white vignette. And this next one is an ellipse cutout. And if I just click on this, it will cut out that image in the ellipse shape, leaving you with just the that image in the center and all the outside deleted and this last one is just to invert the image so you could use any combination of these without having to keep going back to the adjustment layers and what have you and obviously you could let's go for the minus saturation one if you wanted say 50% saturation you could just click double click on any of these and then the HSLL options will come up and you could move the slider to 50% or wherever so you can still access the adjustments these have just been pre-made so basically that is all that these sort of templates that I've made do you could add as many adjustment layers as you want if you have a particular way of processing your images you could add more layers I've just added what I consider to be the more obvious choices of you know saturation making it darker vignette things like that um, I mean, if you wanted, you could add, you know, technically one adjustment for each thing, so you don't have to keep coming back to the adjustments panel, as it's already there waiting for you to use. Now, I have made, this is the landscape version, I have also made a portrait version to the same size, and I will, size permitting, I will put this, these two files in the file section of the Facebook group so you can download it and have a little play around with it to your heart's content 
but if you're you want to make your own all you need to do is know the output size of your um, camera so if I wanted to make a template for my Canon G8 camera I need to make a new file and I want to make it the width I'm going to make it 3, 6, 4, 8 by 2, 7, 3, 6. Um, I have also set, made the pr um, templates I made earlier at 300 dots per inch. So I'm going to leave that as that and click OK. So then I'm just going to quickly add a white background to this. Just makes things easier to see, I think. And all I need to do then is to copy and paste these groups. So if I do the minus and I'll just the minus saturation, I'll just press copy, come back to this one, highlight the layer, right click, do paste, and then it's just a case of doing each one. Um, copy, come back to this one, um, paste, a little bit repetitious. But if you do download these templates from the file section in the Facebook group, um, then you could do this to make your own um, templates to suit the size of your camera's output. Um, also I'm, I'm trying to concentrate on two different things at the same time and I keep forgetting whether I'm supposed to be copying or pasting. <laughs> Nearly there. Just one last one here. Right, so the minute, then all I would need to do is save this um, and as the file that contains all the data, which I think is AF photo file. Um, in fact, let me go and do that now. And then do save as. Yeah, because you can see I've got the presets here. So, what I'm going to do is um, this is a landscape version. So, I'll do. I'll change the name to G8. So I know it's different from my other camera size templates. And then I just need an image to go in there. So select all, edit, copy, come back to my template, highlight the bottom layer, and paste the image into that. So then I can start to quickly alter the settings by adding whichever I don't know, I'll try the lighter one, there you go. Um 
and add a quick lens filter. Let's go for a bit of the um, try the blue one there we go and we're just I think we're up the saturation slightly let's go for about 40% saturation there you go so there you see I've quickly edited that pr image in about 30 seconds because all the adjustments are already there waiting for me and I've just got to open up the group pick the adjustment I want, put a tick in it and it's done it straight away. Um, I wonder what it was like inverted. Ooh, not so great. But that's basically all the templates are doing for you. And especially if you're new to photo editing and you don't want to keep jumping in making adjustments and you really don't know what's going on. These are already set for you. All you do is got to put a tick in where you want them and then once you've made all the adjustments that you want you can just um, save the image or export it would be a better option and export it under a new name so there's no clashing with the or you won't be lo overwriting the original so you always have the original safe so basically that is it really I'm going to upload the two that I made for the bigger size which is um, for my D700 camera so hopefully they will be okay for your cameras but like I said you can quickly make your own you could download this and then just copy and paste the various groups onto whichever size that you make for yourself um, so thank you for watching and like I said the files will soon be uploaded into the file section of the Facebook group um, so if you're not a member of the Facebook group um, you can always email me and I will send them to you or you could just join the group and get them from the file section um, I will add my email to the description for this video so thank you for watching and goodbye